you know, I actually kind of feel bad for this guy. He's been waiting here for weeks, probably, or months, or even years. So then I can come here, so I can at least talk to him. So, I'm gonna do the right thing, and completely go around him. Take that, you weirdo! Anyways, that was really cruel, but... Hey, how's it going, everyone? My name is Raid Fun, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we got here to Route 216 after a couple of random encounters in Mount Coronet. And in this episode, you may notice that we are actually uh, under the snow. If you walk right here, you'll see that we have sunk a little bit into snow. I actually really do admire that feature. And in Ru Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, or in pretty much any other game really, uh, well, 3rd or 4th and 5th generations, you can actually sink into the sand or snow like that, which I really did find to be extremely cool. It, like I said, it's a little things that really make up the game. I'm going to try to ignore every single trainer here, but I'm guessing she's more or less required. So, if there is an item here... Okay, I thought that guy was an item right there, but... Uh, no, that's not really it. There's an item right there, which we can get. And an item right here that we can also get. So let's go grab this, and we get a revive. I wish it would be a Max Repel, but oh well. So what do we have over... Can we skip you? Let's see, uh, yes, wow, we actually did it. Alright, this is actually going a lot better than I planned. So, let's quickly grab this item here. And we get a full heal, so we'll revive in a full heal. Basically, uh, something, really. Okay, so, what's here in this patch of grass? Let's see if there's anything else here. There's an item up there. There's so many items here. Item, item, and it is here. And, you're telling me we could've just gone up the whole damn thing, not to go here all again? Wow, I'm stupid. Okay, I'm just going to skip you again, and let's just run right over here to into Route 216. Because, really, I've been making these episodes drag on for a little bit, like at the beginning, and then get really getting into what we're doing in this episode. So, let's see how I can actually trick her. Come on. Oh, I really like to fight her. Okay, so, let's see. Should we get out? Yeah, let's bring out Murphy for this. Just because I'm kind of confident in the Pokemon she's probably going to use. So, let's just enter our first battle in a snowy climate. I'm fully kitted up and equipped. A time will be fine. Okay, so now, something I want to talk about for Ace Trainers. As you can see, their clothes actually change on... Okay, that was one I was expecting at all, but it would be other anyways for Tropius. We have not gone over Tropius's yet, and Hail. So, kind of weird how it would have Hail in the snowy climate. I mean, it would make a little bit more sense than saying there's going to be Hail in a place where it's like, dying, where it's like a drought or whatever. <laughs> that makes no sense at all. Uh, but if but the first thing is, I want to mention Tropius. Yeah, I don't think we've seen them yet. Uh, well, actually, no, no, no. We, I think we have, but I'll just explain it again. Tropiuses are really cool. Yeah, actually, I've explained these guys before. I remember it was when I started talking about like you know how Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire had like you know a tropical feel to the game and all that. So I'll need to explain these guys again. So whatever. So uh, the next thing I want to mention is if you guys remember the Ace Trainers. Uh, in like Route 210 or whatever, or Route 10, I tried to avoid saying whatever there, but I ended up doing it anyways. So back there in Route 210, or any other route for that matter, you guys saw that the Ace Trainers were wearing different clothing. Here, they are actually wearing different clothing too, because they're trying to fit more of the climate. So it kind of like, it kind of like diversifies the trainers a little bit, it gives them a little bit uh, more sense of uniqueness. Okay, but something I want to do right now that I really should have done X days ago. I want to get rid of this XP share from Leonix and give it to someone who deserves it more. That being uh, Murphy, actually, for a little bit. Not a whole lot of time. Mainly because Murphy is actually going to be really useful for these next, um, for this next uh, upcoming gym battle. Because I don't mean to spoil anything, but apparently that's my specialty. It's completely spoiling... Okay, just, I just decided to skip that battle right there. It was only one Sneasel, so it doesn't really matter. So anyways, something really cool about this place, which actually kind of gives it like a good sense, is right here we have a Snowbound Lodge. So it's a place where we can basically heal up our Pokemon, in the sense that we do not have any healing items. So, I'm just going to take a quick rest right here. And let's see what this guy has to say, just because. Yahoo! This lodge been seen better days, but relax, make yourself home. No! As you can see, the lodge is beat up. You can do as you like, leave right away or nap in the bed. I'm gonna leave right away. 
Uh, that's kind of mean, but whatever. So, there's actually something really unique about... I think it's either this route or... Anyways, as I was trying to say there, but I, I clearly failed. There's actually a new Pokemon here that we haven't seen yet in battle or just in the wild in general. So, anyways, Route 217. There is something... Oh, Sebastian! Um... Are you maybe on your way to Snowpoint City? Where else am I gonna go, Maylene? Where else am I going to go here? It's a one-way path to a city, to civilization in a in a frozen tundra. Where do you expect me to go? Under the sand? Even though there's no sand around here. Whatever. I'm not used to it anyways. Uh, that's where I'm going too. If I use fly, I can get there instantly. I'm walking. Oh, thank you for mocking me, Maylene. I saying, oh, I can just fly to destination because I just want to mock you because... You can't go there because you haven't seen the city yet. Tee hee hee. God. I have no problem. Well, I have a problem with it. I'm used to the cold because I go barefoot and lightly dressed. Achoo! Oh, that was nothing. Really, I'm not cold at all. <laughs> I'll be going now. Please take care. I should be saying that to you, Baleen. You're the one who probably needs more care than me, being all sick here. And, really, really, dude? You're, you're just going to let a gym leader pass by you? Like, okay, you can skip. I just want to piss off the guy who's going to come right after him. No, you duck. You... <laughs> Apparently, ace chairs are now ducks. <laughs> oh my god, that's that's actually kind of funny. Okay, so I guess I can show this battle off. Electabuzz. Okay, actually, good thing I showed it off. Electabuzzes. We have not gone over them yet. Electabuzzes are clearly electric-type Pokemon. Uh... They were introduced in Generation... I think it was Generation 2? One or two. I don't necessarily remember which one, but it was definitely those two. And for a while, they actually didn't, ha didn't have an evolution. And really, really cool thing is, they actually g gained a, um, a pre-evolution, I believe... It was either in Ruby and Sapphire or Pokemon Gold or Silver. I clearly don't remember when it was. But they gained a pre-evolution, you know, around the third generation being created. And then by the time the fourth generation came out, they came out with the next evolution of them, which was Electivire, I believe is his name. Uh, here's a picture of him up on screen. And I can probably put a little chart on top, too, just because I want everything to look a little bit nicer. So, that's kind of how Electivires are. And personally, they're actually really good as a Pokemon, actually. If there was a choice for me to catch one, I would still pick Leenix, definitely, because Leenix is just awesome. But if I had no Leonix, I would probably have to go with, like, the Buzz. Okay, so anyways, you're gonna have a Magmar. Okay, good. Even more Pokemon I haven't seen yet. So, let's go ahead and send out Manny for this, because she, sorry, hasn't got any training yet, really. It's still level 40, halfway to level 41. So let's just give her some screen time. So, Magmars. They were introduced in Generation 2, and a lot... Actually, no, no, no. They do have a pre-evolution that came out in Generation 2. I'm actually pretty sure that Electabuzz had its pre-evolution, Elekid, in Generation 2 too. But in Generation 4, Magmar also gained a, a new evolution called Magmortar. So I'll put another chain up on screen just because I can, because it's going to look so beautiful. And I'm probably going to regret saying all this stuff like when I look back and record, like, why do I have to go on the internet and look for pictures of all these Pokemon? Because that's what I generally do sometimes. So anyways, there's actually something really unique about this route here. Uh, that and Eterna Forest, they have something in common. And I'll get into that in a bonus episode a lot later in the game. I'm not going to show off what it is, and now we're in really deep snow. Like, it's really hard for me to move, so I, we can't use the bicycle here, here, obviously. And, okay, now we're really, really sunk in. But I believe somewhere here... Uh, there's gonna be an I yeah, right there, there's an item. I think it's the item I'm thinking of right now, let's see. It should be a plate. Or just regular iron, whatever. Because I do know for a fact that you get a plate here somewhere. It, I don't know, it, it may or may not be this item, let's check it out. No, okay, we get hail right here. Uh, no, 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 but I'm thinking of a plate, and also something else. So let's go talk, let's go in this house and talk to the guy for some info on this, because... Oh, well, there's a guy here. While I was fighting my way through the blizzard, I dropped an HM. If I still had that hit move rock climb, I'd be able to scale sheer cliffs. So he just basically gave us an obvious hint 
on the item that is literally right here. He cannot walk seven tiles from his house to grab this. So here we have the HM08 Rock Climb. Uh, this is a normal, despite it saying Rock Climb, it is neither a fighting nor a uh, rock type move. It is actually a regular normal type move. And please let this be the item that I'm thinking of. Mm, okay, actually even better than that. I swear, I'm, I'm trying to remember one item in here in particular, but I can't seem to really find it around here, so I, I guess I'll come back for it later. That or I'm just acting really stupid again, which I tend to do all the time. So, uh, let's just go further north, because I kind of want to get off of this, because this is seriously bugging me with the whole stuck in the snow thing. And did I just pass by the cool thing that I want to show? No, 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 actually. Yeah, we're, we're clearly nowhere near the cool thing right now. I mean, there's nothing cool around here, right? <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, but there's another house right over here, which we can go check out, and... Yeah, thanks for sticking me in the snow game. I'm, like, right about to get to a house, and... Okay, what do you have to say? I think she heals your Pokemon, actually. Oh, no, no, she gives us an awesome... She gives us, like, a cleanse tag, I believe. So, anyways. A person? A rare sight. Thank you for visiting. A gift. Or spell tag. That was close. You guys have to give me props for that. So, spell tags. I think they're kind of like a max or, or not, not a max repel. Uh, but I was gonna, I'll explain cleanse tag anyways. So, spell tags boost up ghost type moves. Not important for us right now. But what spe uh, cleanse tags do is that they're kind of like repels, except you have to hold them in the fir in your uh, to the first Pokemon in the party. And when you have that done, you can basically show off can I skip you? Let me see if I can. You move every other step, so you don't sh see me here. Okay, you don't see me here. You don't see me here. Oh crap, you actually do see me there. Okay, but can we skip you? Okay, good. And I just moved. Okay, so cleanse tags. So basically, whenever you go around and you have it equipped on the first team, on the first Pokemon on your team, you basically have a repel. Okay, that battle is actually pretty boring, so I didn't really want to show it off. Uh, so, anyways, I think there's... I don't really think there's anything in that patch of grass right here. But there's actually Pokemon that's actually a little bit interesting there. So, anyways, welcome to the Accurity Lakefront, and the snow actually seems to have subsided. So, we've pretty much reached our destination, and... Hey, Sebastian! What, you finally came along now? Slow! Way too slow! Well, dude, you... You rushed out of the library before we even had a chance! Shut up! Listen, Sebastian, see how those rocks are all lumpy here? You can't climb those until you have the Snow Point Gym Badge. Anyway, I'm off! Team Galactic, I'm coming for you! So, Rock Climb basically allows us to climb up rocks that basically have this kind of pattern. But for that, I think it's time to end the video off here. So, anyways, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Platinum, our beret will be showing off in the video. And we are going to be heading off to Snow Point City to hopefully challenge the gym leader. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.